Hey guys, I'd just like to uh, talk to you for a minute about the Pope's visit to the United Kingdom. Now, I resent anyone telling me how to live my life um, when he himself was part of an organisation that uh, killed a lot of people. Okay? Uh, this Pope, Pope Benedict XVI, was obviously uh, part of the Hitler Youth and he was forced into it because it was required from all children in Germany at that time. However, he was part of the Hitler Youth nonetheless. And I am, I, I, don't, I don't really care, but he should not be, I mean I'm an atheist, but he should not be in a religious power at all. I really just do not think he should be. Uh, I think it was the wrong decision of him to be um, elected, is that the right word? Um, but I'll say elected, but I'm not sure that's the right word. Elected as Pope, because obviously he got elected by the group of cardinals or archbishops or whatever, the bloody ones that vote on the pieces of paper and put them in the fire and you know, all that crap. But he should not have been elected. Me personally, I, I think it should have been someone else. Um, to me personally, all the work that John Paul II did when he when he was alive and as Pope, this guy is going to end up ruining it all and freaking throwing it all out the window. Now he has made a gaffe. The Pope has made a gaffe while well over here. He has linked atheism to Nazism by saying, and I quote. Um, this, even in our own lifetimes we can recall how Britain and her leaders stood against a Nazi tyranny that wished to eradicate, eradicate God from society and denied our common humanity to many, especially the Jews, who were thought unfit to live. As we reflect on the sobering lessons of atheism, extremism of the 20th century, let us never forget how the exclusion of God, religion and virtue from public life leads ultimately to a truncated vision of man and of, of society and thus a reductive vision of a person and his destiny. Now, end quote by the way. Now, um, I find it funny that someone who was part of the Hitler Youth um, is then linking something he was among to be an atheist organisation. Now obviously they were a little bit atheist because they did do a lot of bad things. I'm not going to stand up for the Nazis at all. Um, because, you know, you can't. Um, but I just don't think that a person in his power, who was a part of the Nazis himself, should be able to tell people how to live their life. I, I really don't. Um, now, the British Humanist Association has hit back at the Pope by saying, and I quote again, the notion that it was the atheism of Nazis that led to their extremist and hateful views, or that it somehow fuels intolerance in Britain today, is a terrible libel against those who do not believe in God. The notion that it is non-religious people in the UK today who want to force their views on others, coming from a man whose organisation exerts itself internationally to impose its narrow and exclusive form of morality and undermine the human rights of women, children, gay people and many others is surreal. Now, he joined the Hitler Youth at 14 and it was required of young Germans at the time. So, I can give him a little bit of leeway but still, I don't see even in the slightest why he should be Pope. I really don't. And as I've said, I'm an atheist and I for the foreseeable future will be an atheist. Um, I just do not think that any, uh, you know, that there's anything else after death. Um, you know, I just think that we're just worm food, to be honest. Um, but whatever, I'm not going to force my views onto other people. I'm just saying my spiel. If you choose to watch this. It's not, you know, nothing to do with me. Um, but I just really don't think that he should have a right to tell people how to lead their lives. Now, on another topic, 
I want to talk about the Cardinal, uh, Cardinal Walter Casper, who is also from Germany, may I just say. Not that I've got anything against Germans, I'm just saying that it's funny how both, both of these people who've made gaffes in the Roman Catholic Church are from Germany. But um, this Cardinal, Walter Casper, uh, he was scheduled to be part of the Pontiff's entourage for the four-day tour to the UK, um, but he's pulling out due to illness and that decision has nothing to do with what he said now he has come out he came out before he said when uh, before he came over here and he said that when you land at Heathrow which is the which is the UK airport it's what the main UK airport if you didn't know I'm just saying uh, when you land at Heathrow you think at times you have landed in a third world country the German board cardinal is quoted as saying this by the telegraph Asked whether Christians were discriminated against in the UK, Casper is said to have answered yes. Above all, all aggressive new atheism has... Oh, uh, sorry, I'll start again. Yes, above all, an aggressive new atheism has spread throughout Britain, according to The Guardian. Now, I'm sorry, but I don't think that, athe that um, Catholics are discriminated against as... as you know, I really don't. I mean, I was at a Roman Catholic uh, school, and admittedly, when they had mass, I used to go to it just to get out of class. But anyway, I don't think, uh, to my mind, I have no knowledge of this discrimina discrimination against Catholics. I really don't. But anyway, I'll leave you lot to make your own mind up. Um, if you're religious, well done. If you're um, atheist, well done. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying well done, like, but anyway, um, congrats. Um, I'm not going to push my beliefs onto anyone. I'm just getting my opinion out there. Um, I'm not going to say any more to this. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's my comments. And uh, if you'd like to. Uh, comment on the video, please do. I'd, I'd love to hear some other opinions. Um, oh, and, oh, and please like. Thumbs up. In the words of uh, Buck for our, off YouTube, rate it even if you hate it. Anyway, see you later.